Good morning everyone. So it's breakfast time and I thought I would share with you what I'm eating today. So I'm back on the Weight Watchers Smart Points plan. I've been completely off it whilst we were doing our renovations, just painting and grabbing whatever I could whilst I was doing all of that work. But I'm back on it now. So I thought I'd share with you what I'm having today um, just to give you some inspiration if you're on the Smart, Smart Points plan as well. One thing I have found on this plan is that a lot of the snacks and things that I used to eat have gone up in points so I have to be a lot more careful and it has made me think out of the box but I really like the plan because it definitely makes me take healthier choices, to, it definitely makes me make healthier choices um, than I might have before when some things are higher in points that I would have reached for as a snack, I'm choosing a healthier snack option. So let's start with breakfast and I'll show you what I'm going to have. It is breakfast time and this is what I'm having. So this is a packet of Tesco Easy Oats. Let me just show you these. Everything is baby locked in my house, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, so it's a pack of these. So the Tesco Easy Oats, which I've made with unsweetened almond milk. And then I've just crushed some raspberries and stirred them through and sprinkled on the top some pomegranate seeds and it makes it sweet and delicious rather than boring porridge. <laughs> and then this is breakfast tea made with almond milk and this is a mixture of cranberry and lemonade. Um, cranberry juice is quite high in points but I just use 100 mils of this cranberry. And then I top it up with diet lemonade, so that's zero points. And this is three points for 100 ml, so that's what I'm having for breakfast. It is a seven point breakfast with three points for the easy oats, three points for 100 ml of cranberry juice alongside my diet lemonade, and one point for the almond milk, which um, is enough for my allowance for the whole day. So I count that in with breakfast, but I do have more tea as the day goes on and I have enough points for that. So this is breakfast. In case you're interested, this is the almond milk that I use. It's unsweetened um, Blue Diamond Almond Breeze. 27 calories um, per 200 mils. I go through about one carton of this, which is a litre a week. I don't use a lot at all. I use it in my tea and in my porridge if I'm having porridge in the morning, but this lasts me about a week. It is more expensive than traditional milk, but I don't like traditional milk. Um, this is also much healthier, but I, I really don't like cow's milk. So I've always had this for quite a few years now um, and it seems to agree with me better tummy wise and it's much lower in smart points, which is a bonus. It is snack time. I'm having a snack whilst I work. So I'm having a pear and three of these Tesco sherbet lemons. So it's this pack here, he Tesco Healthy Living Lemon Sherbet, and you get three for one smart point. I will insert a photograph of the app showing you that here. If you're not into sherbet lemons or lemon sherbets, and um, then also the Tesco Healthy Living Mint Humbugs and Butter Mints are also three for one smart point. As are the Werther's Original Sugar Free ones, make sure it's sugar free. Three for one smart point. These are all really handy when you're sort of working. When I'm working at a computer, I feel like I want to snack. I can, can sit these and they do last for quite a while. Um, and they give you that sugar hit that you feel you need if you've got a sweet tooth like me. Um, so I find these really handy. The other thing that's really handy is just sugar-free gum, so like Extra or Orbit or something like that. Um, it's really handy to get you through the day when you're sitting working at your desk and everyone else is eating cakes. But that is my snack, one a one smart point snack. So it's lunchtime and here is what I'm having. I'm having a homemade sweet potato and butternut squash soup which is so creamy and delicious at only two smart points per portion. Um, it's really, really hearty as well. So as well as butternut squash and sweet potato, there is onions and peppers in this, some garlic, some chilli, some seasoning and some chicken stock. Really, really good. But I've made a recipe um, on this on my cooking channel. So I'll link that below if you're interested in making it. Um, Weight Watchers do do recipes that are zero pro points without the sweet potato and without the stock. 
Um, I think this is better, this is more filling, so I prefer the two smart point version, but you can decide for yourself. And then I have my breakfast tea, this is zero smart points because I've already counted my almond milk for the day. And then I'm having one of these little white rolls, this is the King's Mill soft white roll, and these are quite small, and they come in at four smart points, so all together this is a six smart point lunch. So it's around quarter to four and I am ready for a snack. I'm going to have these Velvet Crunch Popcorners, sweet and salty flavour. Um, these are quite new I think and they're really tasty. I have had the Velvet Crunch, just the normal sort of crisps, corn crisps before. But these ones are new and they taste, well they are, they are kind of made of popcorn and they taste like popcorn, sweet and salty. Um, and they're three smart points per bag and these really satisfy the sweet and salty cravings in the afternoon. So I'm just making dinner and I am going to have um, two of these Chinese pork ribs. So um, two typical ribs, so basically one serving um, works out at five smart points. So five smart points for two ribs. Or two ribs, and then um, I'm going to have one of these Mediterranean stuffed peppers with fire roasted tomatoes and quinoa. Half a pack, so one half, um, so one kind of portion. Um, half a pack, so one of these half peppers stuffed is five points, which is actually a bit higher than I expected. Um, so I'm just going to have one and I'll keep the other one for tomorrow. And then I'm going to fill up my plate with plenty of salad and that will be my 10 smart point dinner. So this is what dinner looks like. So I've got loads of zero smart point veggies under there. Spinach, carrots, peppers, tomatoes, beetroot. And then I've got my two pork ribs. I've picked a smaller one and a larger one because the smart points were worked out on averages. So. And hopefully that will average out and then I've got my quinoa and feta stuffed pepper here and then I've also drizzled on, you can see here, um, half a tablespoon of sweet chilli sauce onto my salad just to give everything a nice flavoursome kick. So that is now an 11 smart points dinner and it looks delicious. So it is the end of the day and I have two smart points left so I'm going to have two of these chocolate hazelnut bars although really I would just either like chocolate. <laughs> They're about the same size as like a chocolate. I'll open one and show you in just a second. But you get, I got these in my Weight Watchers meeting. I don't think you can buy them in the store, but I bought them in my Weight Watchers meeting and they're quite tasty. A little bit like a little square of Nutella. So I'm gonna have two of these with a cup of tea with my almond milk from my already pointed allowance. And that will be me for the day. This is, this is what it looks like. So you can see the kind of size of my thumb beside it um, but they're nice for a little tasty bite with a cup of tea and if I need anything else before bed I can always have an apple. That's me for the night. I hope you had a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>